with the world that is you, know, you, you see it as something that's going to improve or get worse would you like to see improvement permanent improvement, improvement that is because yeah. we're looking for a permanent fix to mankind's problems yeah. not just a patch up mm. the world's seen a lot of patch ups yeah. and they work for a little bit for a short time yeah. Mm. but um yeah as as love as a you know what God, God's world reveals in the future mm. we want to share that good news with our neighbors yeah. um not necessarily pressure anyone mm. but we love just uh, helping others to to having a hope as we do yeah. rather than you know being um perhaps negative or mm. depressed about current circumstances because they can wear us down mm. the rising cost of living yeah how are you coping uh so far so good, good. um yeah in general i think we are improving but very at a very slow rate yeah. the world has been quicker i think uh, yeah, but mentally we may not be as safe. Yeah. Physically we are not safer yeah. than the whole world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you say mentally not safe, what do you mean? Um, people, when I say pe- people are especially young children, yeah. they are exposed to too much uh, information. And when they get in all this information knowledge uh, free of cost at zero effort they will become uh, not thankful to anything and that probably will bring narcissistic behavior in the children when they are not thankful they have not done anything but they know everything and the ego plays a strong role. In, we are all built on ego. Yes. Um, There's a healthy level of ego, isn't there? Um, if we didn't love ourselves, you, you, you wouldn't be able to help somebody else. Um, to an extent. Wasn't that what Jesus taught? You know, the, the, um, the greatest commandment, the second greatest commandment? Um, love others like yourself. Um, so yeah. it's a healthy to have yeah. a... Um, yeah, certain amount. Correct. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and so yeah, we we feel the world's got things upside down. You know, mm. they're, they're more lovers of each other than lovers of God, because that was the first commandment the prophet mm. Jesus spoke about, wasn't it? Yes. You must love your father, love your God. Yeah. But um, in the world, it's back to front, mm. and there's loyalty to their our mate, our mates before our Creator. Mm. Um, so yeah, we, we feel that spirituality is lacking in the general population. Mm-hmm. And you're right, technology is just pushing all of that love for God away. Mm-hmm. It's, um, it's training it away, mm-hmm. it's non-existent. Mm-hmm. You can't walk into a shopping centre and suddenly, oh, think about oh, yeah. God. There's just too <laughs> many other things to think about, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Yeah. 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 Would you like to live forever in a perfect world <laughs> where everybody was educated about the truth of mm. about God? Mm. Does that sound appealing for you? Something you'd like to to learn about? Because we'd like to share that with you. Yeah, that's very ideal. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, ideal things usually don't happen, but <laughs> <laughs> a bit far fetched, do you reckon? <laughs> yeah, it is. But what are, what are scientists trying to do? Um, Make you live longer? Yeah, they they are yeah, exploring in nature, but then technology, tech, tech, uh, the tech firms yeah. try to make use of the exploration to bring fortune. Yeah. So that is where we need to, I think, educate the. Uh, the experts, yeah. the, those who implement the exploration yeah. into technology. Yeah. That part is the greedy part yeah. of the world. Yeah. 
those who develop technology. Yeah. Well that said. is for personal benefits. Yeah, well said. Yeah. yeah. Can I share with you just one powerful scripture here in John chapter 17, verse 3? Mm. This reveals how everlasting life can be attained. You might be able to read that. Um, verse 3. We're coming to know. Did you notice how you can gain everlasting life according to the Holy Scriptures of, of the Bible? So, coming to know. or well, learning about the only true God and of the only, and of the one whom he sent, Christ Jesus. So, gaining an education about God, his purpose, Jesus, yep. how that all makes sense in gaining a lasting life, mm. we can bring you a lasting life. Mm. That sounds pretty simple, yeah. doesn't it? Would it? Is it something uh, symbolic? Have a lasting life? No, not not if you take it. Yeah, good practical question. Practical. Good question, Dr. Mal. Because if you go back to our first human parents, mm. what were they told? Do you, do you remember the story in the Garden of Eden? Yeah. So they were told to extend the borders of the paradise in the niche. Yeah. And only if they were to eat of their tree, mm. that would bring them death. Mm. If they never ate from that tree, they would Poisonous fruit. Mm. That was what it symbolised. Um, a bit like you saying to your children, look, you can eat all the biscuits in the, in the pantry, mm. but don't touch the chocolate ones. Mm. They're for visitors. You know? yeah. And what do they do when dad's not around? So by partaking of the chocolate biscuit, mm. they're testing your authority. Mm. This guy, does, does dad have the right to tell me I can't eat chocolate biscuits? Mm. So Adam and Eve were testing God's authority, but because they were perfect, mm. they deliberately did something wrong. They mm. knew that something was wrong. But death was never in the picture. Mm. If they didn't eat from that, mm. maybe you and I wouldn't be here, mm. Adam and Eve would still be here with their children. Yeah, we are for the mistake. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So living forever for Adam and Eve would have been in the flesh. Mm. Not in the spirit, not somewhere else. Do you think that the story is also symbolic? Um, it probably may not have happened. Um, if if you were to question that story, then then you would have to question the whole Bible. Yes. Um, but a, a reasonable person would think if there is a creator, mm. he wouldn't just leave it up to his creation to figure out why who otherwise there would be a world of anarchy and yeah and, and a world without standards and everything would be right and mm. everything would be wrong so I could commit murder mm. but that's okay you have to put up with me because you know um He's no standard. Yeah. Yeah, there, there are some part of the world where this happens. Yeah. But is that right? See? So for someone to take someone else's life, mm -hmm. why do they punish that? Their, their, their inherent mm -hmm. qualities, you know, committing immorality or, or fornication mm -hmm. or adultery. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we need a standard. You know, through, mm -hmm. um, and this is what the world is ignoring. Mm. They're ignoring the fact that there is somebody who has got the authority to set standards. Mm. And who is um, stipulating the, the authority? Because when we say creation created by God, and uh, it has been something comes out of perfection it has to stay perfect and if it was not perfect then the creator was not perfect 
you're getting that. I do get your point, but I don't agree. Mm, um, yeah, you don't have to. But no, no, no. no, no. Point. That's a beautiful. <laughs> that's a thinky question, isn't it? Right. What would you say? Yeah, so look, we have to define perfection. Mm. Um, Adam and Eve were physically perfect. Mm. But when it comes to uh, obedience. Mm. So that also came from the perfect Lord. Yes. However, <clears throat> he didn't um, he didn't make them perfectly obedient because if he did, mm. then they would lose the the human element in the sense that uh, they would not have free will. Yep. Yeah. Is, would you agree with that? Like, if if God made them perfectly obedient in the sense that he tells them to do something, probably that's the plan, I guess. Yeah, yeah, because if you do not make them obedient and just make them as free as he is, yeah, and yeah, the, the way I think the homo uh, nature of the world that that pretty much everyone is, yeah, not obedient, yeah, well, and it, they have free will, yeah, well, it gets back to free will, however, free will can be exercised in a way, yeah, dangerous. Dangerous, but nice. it can be it can be good too. Like the Bible speaks of Abraham. You, you've heard about Abraham. He was he had an imperfect body, mm. but he he was obedient to God mm. um, to a really significant extent. Even mm. God said, "Sacrifice your son Isaac," mm. and he was going to go through with that. Um, mm. So his obedience to God was was better than Adam and Eve, even though physically he was imperfect. Yeah. So there's a difference. There's physical perfection and obedience. Mm. And obedience is something you need. God's given us to develop the ability to develop. And that is necessary for us to have a mm. loving relationship with him. Because if we don't have the ability to make a decision to be obedient or not, then we're just robots. Mm. Yeah. So mm. it's, it's quite... Um, complicated this idea of what is perfection. Yeah, and if if we explore more into this, um, that how what is the uh, nature of this being, mm. then we would be able to tell people. We will be able to show them that this is what you are. Each human is different, mm. and if we bring the same um, obedience to everyone it may not work because mm. um, everyone is different builds mm. different different mm. physique mm. Um, man woman child mm. and stages of life mm. they think differently mm. yeah we need to understand this I think and then we will be able to tell everyone separately individually mm. to bring them at peace. Mm. Yeah. yeah. If if we bring the same idea to everyone, mm -hmm. it probably has not worked so far. Mm -hmm. We have been bringing the idea. Yeah, and, and there's a reason why there are so many schools of thought. Mm -hmm. You know, again, going back to that Garden of Eden, by allowing, see, if God's got Almighty power, what could have He done? Do you think? In the power? Yes. Yeah. Probably nothing. With the power, yeah, probably nothing. Or yeah. he could have destroyed everything and mm. said, "Oh, forget it. I'm just going to create it again." Mm. But does that answer the question, though? See, does does man should man have obeyed God by listening and not partaking? Does he have the authority mm. to set those standards? So God, in His wisdom, said, "Okay, Adam, you want to move off." You know, I said to you, you would return to the dust now. Yeah. And whereas the devil said you wouldn't go to the dust, you would live. Who lied? The devil or God? Or is Adam? So the devil lied. Mm. So God in his wisdom has allowed humans to, to, to live independent of their creator, mm. try everything they ever wanted to try. Yeah to prove that God has the authority to direct his creation, much mm -hmm. like you've got the authority to 
to tell the car how to behave, how the AI should behave. Mm-hmm. You, know, you should be in command of that. Um, or the unintelligent. Yeah, and the best creation God can make. Mm. If we were living on Mars, he would make Martians for Mars, mm. or, or Plutonians for Pluto. You know, we would yeah. look different. Mm. But we're Earthlings for Earth. Mm. And that's his best creation in the flesh, yeah. in his image, capable of showing those qualities mm. with free will. So what better than to show your maker, mm. I want to do this, rather than I'm programmed to do this. You know, we'd all be robots. Doesn't matter. Mm. There's no no feeling, no love, no expressions. We're just programmed. Mm. But in His wisdom, He's yeah. made us the way we are for free moral choice. Yeah. To really enjoy, um, you know, life within those limitations, though. You know, a bit like playing a tennis game. Mm. But imagine there was no lines on the court. Mm. And you're arguing, oh, it's my point. No, it's your point. Mm. You need those limitations mm. to, to enjoy. Yeah. So when exercised properly, mm. it's the best situation you've ever had. Mm-hmm. So we're approaching that time when God will step in because of all the badness. Mm-hmm. There's just been so much suffering, mm. so much you know, innocent people. Mm-hmm. And deliberate people trying things and hurting others and hurting themselves. So we want that permanent fix. And we're looking for people who want to live in that mm-hmm. forever. In the flesh, mm. with neighbours you can trust. Mm. You don't have to lock your door at night. Don't worry if the kids are playing at one in the morning and they come in. There's no trouble out there. Mm. Um, so if that appeals to you... Yeah, don't be too proud to yeah. sort of ask how mm. and and willing to um yeah. Mm-hmm. And and there are th- concrete things like um you know sometimes it can be difficult to really uh, put your trust in a Bible account from that was written uh, you know over three and a half thousand years ago but the account of Adam and Eve, mm-hmm. but. There are some concrete things that we know, mm-hmm. and that is, for example, it seems like you have kids, yeah. Yeah. and that love that you have for your children mm-hmm. is very strong, mm-hmm. and there's some real complex chemical reactions going on in our mind mm-hmm. that creates this strong attach- attachment between our father, father mm-hmm. and their daughter, mm-hmm. and that points to what, like, where did that come from? Who created that? Mm-hmm. And that leads to, if you do believe there is a creator, God, mm-hmm. then that leads to more questions. Mm-hmm. Um, if if God loves us, if, if he's programmed that sort of love in us, yep. he has immense love. In fact, the Bible says God is love. Mm-hmm. So that begs the question, why, why did he allow the world to become like this? Mm-hmm. Why does he allow us to just get old and die mm-hmm. in some animals and trees live longer than us even though we're the most complex creation in the known Mm. universe Mm. so all these questions come up but Mm. you can't ignore the fact that love exists Mm. i feel it Mm. in my family Mm. surely there's a loving god that Mm. has a better plan for the future Mm. and that's that's what we've found from studying the bible Mm -hmm. and trusting what the Bible teaches, like yeah. even the, the story of Adam and Eve, even mm. though it might sound a bit fanciful, but mm. when you study the Bible, yeah. uh, and it takes time, but mm. it's worthwhile. It's a bit of a puzzle that you put together, yeah. and the end image, the end result is, is beautiful. And that's why we do this work voluntarily. Yeah. But as David showed, you, you need to take, we need to learn about his purpose. Mm. We need to learn why did he allow suffering? Yeah. Why didn't he just kill Adam and Eve and start again Mm. and the the Bible answers all those questions quite satisfyingly yeah Yeah, so it's worth giving a bit of time Mm. we we um if if there's a time that you're generally have free even if it's say 10-15 minutes Mm. uh, we have a nice brochure that just goes through some of these questions 
and it's free of charge. There's no commitment, mm -hmm. but it doesn't hurt to see what the Bible teaches. Yeah. Are you uh, Muslim background no. or you're not? No. Do, you, you, yeah. 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 But do you think there's a creator, like a, a creative piece? Uh, that's a very fundamental question. It is. Everything hinges off that, and, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> if, well, it cannot be justified with yes or no. Okay, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, these two words are not enough. Mm. Um, it has to be experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Bible so says that, actually. Once <laughs> you experience the presence, yeah. uh, then you know. Yes, yeah, spot on. So, yeah, if uh, anyone who has not experienced, mm. Um, let's say our volunteering team, mm. then I think I can also teach them how to experience mm. his presence, mm. his or her presence. Yeah. We cannot give the Lord a gender yeah. as well, so that's why I'm saying he's or her. Mm. So it can be shown. Mm. Uh, it, for mm. some people, it can be time consuming. Mm. For some simple beings mm. who are not carrying much in the brain mm. can be really quick mm. and once you know the presence you become one with it then you will be able to tell people from the core of you mm. then he will talk through you mm. so you, you can do you perceive perhaps creation as a sign of God's presence Yes, or we, not we are all in it. We are all in it. Yeah. So, by looking at creation, you would agree to say that there's a creator? We, we should not say the creator. We, we all are creating every, everyone, every thing. Yeah. Whatever we touch, it gets, it changes the yeah. shape. Yeah. Whether we touch the trees, we are in it, we are part of it, part of it changing it. Yeah. It's he is playing through us, yeah. whether we are free or not free. We are run by cultural beliefs, we are run by uh, someone else's ideas, yeah. thoughts put into my mind. Then I run by them. So, in that case, I am not free when yes. I am run by the surroundings yep. and when I slowly drop all the surroundings, the learnings, the schooling I have received, yep. it is bringing limitations yep. to my being yep. and when I drop all of them, then he or she comes and speaks to you yeah. and do the act through you. Okay. Okay. A little vague from my understanding, maybe at this stage. Um, but does uh, living forever appeal to you in the flesh? Um, I think it's not possible. Yeah. Living. But would you for like forever? to? Is would it, you like you say to? Living though? forever or living free? No, living forever and, and free, mm. but not having ultimate freedom where you mm. can commit murder. And, and get away with it. Mm, Does that appeal and to we, you? And if we all live forever, mm -hmm. how much will we consume forever? And how many we will reproduce and how much will be left for the newer generation to consume? Because we need to consume at least a limited amount at least to yeah. live. And if we all keep living forever, yeah. probably we will destroy this beautiful planet. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we, we should not be so uh, self-centered, I think, to, to live forever. We should come and play the game of this on this planet and yeah. peacefully go and yeah. leave the planet in the hands of uh, younger generations and let them learn and then play their game. Yeah. Um, and so it comes 
down to the teaching which you are also part of it you are teachers yes. you are teaching yes. the newer generation yes. and uh, yeah teaching teaching is i think the highest uh, order from him yeah except it needs to be the truth uh, because i can teaching, totally teaching will be should should it should include everything not just truth it should also talk about the untruthful it should also talk about the wrong doings uh, not to promote it but to show them that this is how by wrong doings things happen how a snake whispered yeah. how someone changed his mind yeah. so people would then question oh then snake existed before someone else yeah to do this book yeah. um, and then there will be million, million questions yeah. so usually I don't take that part yeah. so I would be with that person for certain amount of time and then understand them where they are yeah. sitting how deep they are yeah. whether they are in the mud or in the clean water yeah. and then I will talk to them to bring them at peace Yeah. Well, that's noble qualities. Noble qualities. Yeah. But um, if that ever appeals to you, yep. you know, that there is a purpose to life. Yes. This with is endless, teaching is the purpose. Yeah. With endless um, existence. Yeah. In the flesh. Yeah. Okay. So not in the spirit or in the invisible realm. Um, we're more than happy to converse with you mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. and reason on, on this. Is that yeah. something you would like? Yeah, I would say that uh, living forever endless in in spirit than than in flesh. I would yeah yeah emphasize on that 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 our spirit keeps living yeah. through our children yeah. and then their children forever. Yeah, the the a lot of deeds. people feel that way. Yeah. Yes, but flesh may be very self-centered. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well. Perhaps. Uh, again. Again. Who Who sets the standard of whether that's self-centered or whether that's the mm. purpose of life? Mm. See, you might have that opinion of, oh, it's a bit mm. selfish just to mm. think that I can live forever. Mm. But so can everyone else, if they choose to. Mm. So how is that self-centered? You know. And yet, if we created in the image of whoever created us or does it mean he's self-centered but do we have the right to tell him that mm. he is self-centered mm. or are you trying to outsmart your creator or, or, or dictate his terms mm. it, they're very deep subjects and you're yes. a deep thinker right? we, we can appreciate that and that's good mm. we're made to do that we're made to ask those questions but not just to go in a circle mm. like philosophers do mm. it's so frustrating imagine driving on mm. a roundabout and just keeping going around, right around and you keep seeing the exits but just don't just, what's the point mm. same you can do that in conversation yeah. we're, we're here for purpose with mm. reason mm. with moving forward yeah not just questioning everything and anything mm. and not having a conclusion. Mm. Um, that's why speaking with philosophers can be so draining and frustrating. <laughs> I probably would have done that to you. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but, but you know, we, we appreciate. And if, if you want to talk as a philosopher, you're entitled to. You have free moral choice. Mm. But all we're saying is it has its consequences. Mm. Like eating the tree had consequences. Mm. Yeah. But if you learn about God in truth, it will have consequences. Mm. And if they're everlasting life in the flesh with a peaceful society of people, um, that's what's at stake. So that's okay. You, you, you don't have to choose that. But just know what you're missing out on mm -hmm. if that's not what you want. That's all. Yep. It's no skin off my nose if you choose to live forever or not. Mm -hmm. Really, we, we help ourselves, and that's what God teaches us. Mm -hmm. If you listen to me, uh, you will help yourself. 
Mm. So we just, we love people, you know, to share this with them, free charge. Sure. And that's why we're, we're appealing. Mm. If you want to learn more, we're happy to come back. I'm happy to come back and, and try and reason with you on these matters. Not just um, throw it on you and mm. you must understand this. No. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Would you appreciate that? Or do you want time to think about it? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I don't have many questions left. So, okay. yeah, if, if you would come and ask me that what, what are you facing, what are your challenges, then probably I would say, yeah, no. Yeah. I, 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 nothing, I have nothing to... Yeah. Yeah, you probably, feel content, in other words? Yes, there are challenges. Okay. But they are worldly challenges. Okay. And yeah. watching the worldly matters yeah. uh, circling around, that's fine. That's how the yeah. world spins. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And within that, if we stay centered, then there are no, no uh, there is no baggage to carry. Yeah. In the axis, axis does not rotate. So the axis just watches the world spin. Yeah. Thanks for your honesty and your comments, Kamal. Come on, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice to have met you. That's the website. Um, you, you can you can directly ask for someone to come here if you want to on, on there. Um, but otherwise, have a, have a search if it if what you see and watch makes sense to you. Mm. Please feel free to ask the question the next time we call. Sure. Yeah. Um, we we're just looking for those ones before it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. no good if we see it, if the metro. Um, Meteorologist sees a storm coming mm -hmm, and he doesn't mm -hmm. tell his neighbours. Yeah. We see the storm coming mm -hmm. for permanent change on the earth. Yeah. But God will not bring it before he warns people, yeah. as we understand. So we're, we're trying to be responsible yeah. in looking looking for such ones. Mm -hmm. No one's come to my door to say, David, yeah, hey, yeah. hey, guess what? I know how to live forever. You want to learn? Yeah, um, yeah I certainly yeah. feel that there are people who still wants to have that sense of belonging yeah. and they probably are alone and missing out. Yeah. Um, I know one lady living in this house um, feel like she is alone. I feel like <coughs> um, if you happen to speak to her. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, We've got a few as you've seen ahead of us. So mm. She may have she health conditions. Yeah. And uh, yeah, she had a partner probably four years ago. Okay. And now I don't think him anymore. Yeah. Yeah, if you wanna Yeah. Yeah. yeah bring her out of Thank you, yeah. the situation. Yeah. Well again, yeah. she'll have free moral choice, you know. We yeah, just yeah, appeal yeah. to her, yeah. but yeah. She yeah, I, I tried for herself. talking to her. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, again, it's her choice. Yeah. Thanks for the chat, Kamal. No worries. Thank you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah. And have a warm day. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye.